Okay, hey guys, today we'll be trying out this new horror game, uh, Reminiscence. This is a free-to-play game on Steam, so no real commitment to just trying this out. Uh, it seems like this game just came out of um, Alpha or something like that, and it's it was straight released. It's a full version. There was no pre-release or anything like that. Uh, regardless, uh, I believe it's a simple game, maybe even an, an indie developer, maybe a small company, because uh, it doesn't really state like uh, what company it's made by, so usually that just means that, uh, and, and the game is made on Unity, so it's probably just uh, a single developer or just a few group, uh, like in a small group. So anyway, interesting. Let's just check it out. Uh, I'm going to go for a new game. So I have no idea what this is about, except for the fact that it showed up in uh, New and Trending, and it's a horror game, uh, and it's free to play. There were a few others that I believe needed uh, a few dollars. Uh, I might be looking into those. It's just that. Okay. Okay, he said something interesting. All right, it's just really dark. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see anything. Uh, okay. You know what? It's just see if I can improve the contrast in any way mm. I'm looking into my um, OBS settings to see if there's a way I can pump it up All right well maybe not uh, so I, I, I guess we'll just go with this and uh, you guys probably have to pop your uh, brightness up but this is as close to real as what it looks like it's really dark for me as well I've got to find them and I haven't much time okay interesting uh, so the only way okay so is that is that what I am nice oh whoa okay uh, so what happens if I can I go through this mm. No, I cannot. Okay, what about this? What's this? It's like a wardrobe. There's a door as well? Okay, I can open this door. Uh, nice. Thanks. <laughs> that jump scare came way earlier than I thought it would. Except it wasn't really a jump scare, but it was a uh, pretty atmospheric. Uh, I can't open this. Okay, this reminds me of the... Okay, he's gonna repeat that. This kind of reminds me of that uh, Hideo Kojima like little short game that showed up. That didn't really um, like it's like an like a alleyway loop game. It's not even actually a game. It's like some sort of a um, what do you call this? Uh, it's just like a preview of another game. Okay, uh, let's check out these two doors because they just look there first for whatever reason. Okay, nope. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it's like a game room of some sorts. Okay. Shasta Dam. Dam workers complain for unpaid hours as usual. Um, Laborers always complain of for unpaid hours because for some reason employers love unpaid hours free labor is better than cheap labor um, Look home popular signs. Okay. I must be a total geek. That's me in real life. Oh uh, What's roll back? Whoa, really? I can roll back time? Okay. Uh, wait, why is it that I can only get this option here? Okay. Whoa. Oh, I see. Alright, so I can roll back that entire thing. Thingy. Is this where the guy showed up? Oh no, this is where the, the, the thingy showed up. The song. It's so 
Familiar? Really, huh? Got a 7-Up and uh, Pepsi Cone. Right, let's uh, roll back. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's the way. Awesome. Whoa, okay. I'm oh, sorry, that did what? Oh, whoa, okay, I think it changed something. Not here. Maybe I should try to clock in the lobby again. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. So every time I click this, does it always change to something new or is it just flipping between the two different dimensions? Alright, so this is one dimension where things are a little bit broken up and older. This is another dimension where things are still normal. Right, let's check the normal one out first. I'm not sure if it means anything useful. Um, okay, yeah, I can't, can't do anything about that, I guess. Oh, now I can open this room, huh? Uh, okay. Time is constantly frozen within the second. I see. This is the same fridge, isn't it? This is the same fridge. Okay, what's this? Right. Some weird stuff going on here. Okay, um, sorry about the motion blur. I can't really change that. It's just the way it is. Hope you guys don't get a... Mystery has been made today as the Pentagon R&D department confirms they've sent a man back in time and successfully returned him to our time completely unscathed. Experts say the applications of such technology are limitless and the benefits are calculable. Okay, uh, as I was saying, I... Hope it doesn't turn, make you guys too dizzy or anything like that, because I really can't adjust it. Okay, can I click this again? Okay, so I do this again. Now it's in the ruined uh, world, where everything is like damaged and whatever. I can't go back through that door, so this is the only way. And I can't open this door, right, okay. So based on the dimensions, certain doors are locked. And certain doors are open, but basically I'm alternating between these two dimensions is what I'm doing. History has been made today as the Pentagon R&D department confirms they've sent a man back in time and successfully returned him to our time But your dialogue has changed, huh? Okay. The same room door. Okay, this can't be opened. How about you? You... What was that? I'm sorry, did I miss a jump scare? Probably outside. No, oh, I missed the jump scare. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, I'm not sure whether I should apologize for that. Yeah, I can't really read that. It's, uh, this chair is blocking me. Okay, here we go. Uh, it goes without, any, without saying that with our researchers' progress gathering public attention, there are certain things we need to discuss concerning our interactions with the media. First and foremost, no disclosure of schematics and or the principles behind the device. Uh, what? Communist espionage is a very real threat and the Soviets are likely to keep a close eye on what the papers are reporting. And to our most pressing issue, I am aware of some of the research team members' concern of hallucinations. I see. Those obviously are baseless and completely untrue and should not under any circumstance be shared with the press. Looking forward to your continued cooperation, Alan Moreau, Pentagon Research and Development. So I'm the time traveler, I guess, who was put through some sort of a loop and I was successful. So what this version of me could be, could be a remnant. I could be a time remnant just stuck endlessly in the loop that the original went through. Anyway, I think it's too soon for me to say all this. So let's just go back now uh, and see if we can fiddle with this door. Okay, we still can't. Right, so let's go through here. And let's click... Um, wait, can I click the TV? Never tried the TV, huh? Can I? TV? No? Okay, no. Uh, okay, I guess. So let's just go down here. Change the uh, dimension. And then we'll see. 
so the changes happen whenever I interact with uh, a clock. I'm not sure if it's any clock, but it seems to be a clock. Okay, can I open this? I can. Okay, so I can open both these doors in this dimension. Okay, this time the TV has some information. Hmm. Of high treason. Reaper cast ions. Okay, so some real. It was all my fault. Yeah, some really bad stuff happened, huh? Okay. This won't work without a pendulum. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, so I gotta put a pendulum to make the clock turn time? Really? Is it only the clocks in my house? Or is it a. Uh, does it like it has to be any working clock? It's gotta be a pendulum somewhere, and it's not in this room for some reason. Uh, you can't see. I, ca I really can't see. It's so dark. Oh god. Okay. Uh, so it's not in here. I have to go looking for a pendulum. Fine. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, information. Right, so they're selling whatever this product is two years prior. Who are you? Okay. I don't carry the lobby key around anymore. Great, so. Is it raining? Okay, so is there a way for me to uh, turn time here? No, okay. Uh, what about, what's over here? Okay, so I haven't explored this room in uh, this dimension, the broken one. What is that? It's a reflection of this thing, right. She looks absolutely insane. Uh, oh god, that gets me a little bit woozy. Uh, okay, anything here? Nothing here. Mm. Cigarette type. Okay, I got the lobby key. As per our three last letters, uh, we are sorry to inform you that we do not have a Alan Morrow working here nor have we ever had such a um, a person employed <laughs> oh god these letterings we would kindly ask you to stop attempting to contact us on the subject furthermore we are at the research and development department have, so have no knowledge of any of your relatives participating in the experiment nor are we aware of any physical harm coming to the staff and or the subjects, right? Teeth subjects? Does it say teeth subjects? Again, we request that you stop contacting us on the subject as you are clearly mistaken. Respectfully, Jebediah H. Smith, the Pentagon Research. Okay, so someone wrote in for me. Forgot the keys to the lobby again. XXX. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess I don't have a choice. Oh, hello. 
Okay, uh, thanks for the jump scare. That was very helpful. Suppose it's safe now. The date is January 6, 1958. That's not creepy at all. Under normal circumstances, I would go rushing in. I don't see why not. Oh god. It's too dark in there. Let's go in. Oh. I guess the game is frozen solid? There's gotta be a way to get that out. What is that? What is that? Hmm. I'm writing this in hope that it reaches your eyes, only we need to discuss the side effects of this technology, except the rest of the research team is beyond apathetic to studying the subject further. There is a direct connection between the stores, stories in Southeast Asia and our experiments. Of that, I am certain the storm's growth coincides with our use of the technology. More importantly, I'm aware that of what happened during the experiment of what lied in between. We really must discuss your experience then to gauge your sanity and your commitment to this project because to be completely honest you have been acting very strange since the encounter. Uh, what do you mean it promised you something? I see. So in exchange for what we thought was time travel we got something entirely different, huh? Nice. So, uh, I need to get the uh, pendulum, which is... Wait, I needed to get this door open, but why? Is there a pendulum lying around here? Can I open this? Any of these? No? Um... Okay... Okay, let, let's do this. See if that improves anything. No, I still cannot open that door. Um, and that thing is not there anymore. This note should be different. I know the department keeps asking you this and every time you've chosen to dodge the question, but I really must ask for the sake of my own curiosity and perhaps our safety this question again just how did you come up with the schematics with all your respect your background in physics doesn't come close to explaining how you can come up with such advanced designs this is miles ahead of what the greatest minds have been doing for decades usually we accuse someone like uh, someone like this of having simply stolen someone else's work but in your case I don't think anyone alive is capable of doing coming up with this. These designs look completely foreign. So it is possible I made a deal with some alternate dimensional being in order to Mr. advance in science. Okay, the these are still open. Uh, the same as the same way as they were before. Except I need this pendulum. Right. Um, and I still have not found that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just clickety click 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 everywhere, but uh, uh, okay. Uh, there's nothing useful here that resembles a pendulum of any sort. Go downstairs and have another look. Um, okay, let's see. So this door is locked in this dimension. So I have to go around and this way. And this thing is fine in this dimension. There's no clock in this room. Hmm. How hard could it be to find a pendulum? Do I not have one stashed somewhere? Is that it? 
Mm. Uh, let's see. No, I really do not see any clues of a pendulum. Let's just turn the time one more time and uh, turn the time one more time. Yes, I know. We'll see what happens. Wait, what? I'm hearing it from here, but there's no radio. Hearing the TV upstairs? Is that it? Okay, this dimension looks the same. I really need to find that pendulum. I think that's the only way for me to uh, work on the the turning the time again. But where would it be? It can't be too far away from the uh, the room it was taken from, right? Okay, mm. so this is the room, the clock that has a missing pendulum. But where, where would it be? Can I crouch? Can't crouch. Can I run? No, I cannot. I have no other controls besides moving and clicking. Can I turn you back? No, I cannot. I cannot turn back that clock for some reason. Um. Okay, this is a little bit uh, tricky. No clues. What are you? You're a time capsule, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, there's nothing really useful here. I think I have to just get back to the uh, first room and see if I can find any clues there. So this thing is frozen. Uh, or is this the pendulum? Right? Right, but there's nothing else I can pick up to use against this. Uh, unless I can turn time here, and that solves that. No, it does not. It just completely returns the item out of my view. Hmm. Oh. And that does what exactly? Okay, now let's just. What was that? Yeah, that actually uh, shook me, but I have no idea what that was. Alright, let's uh, flip it again. Hello. Okay. Wait, what? No! No! Why you do this to me, game? Are you serious? Is that, is that you? Is that who you? I'm chasing after something that's gonna chase after me? Okay. Guess I have no choice but to keep going through this warped reality. Oh no, it's red. Oh wow. Get out, get out, why, 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 why? Please help, 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 help. Okay, so how do I do this? Oh, wow, that's nice. That's a helpful set of books. And they all turned into... Daddy. Uh, away. Get away, daddy? So, what is what did Daddy do exactly that caused this warped reality? A pendulum? Are any of my clocks missing pieces? Are you missing memory in your head? Because we literally spoke about this pendulum like five minutes ago. Is this going to come at me conjuring style? No, you're not. Okay. Right, so... A lot of shit is happening right now. Okay, things here have not really changed. Yeah, alright, these things have not really changed. I just wish what the game should do to keep the uh, 
jump scares like more real is keep the characters um, like point of view locked if something is flying or heading towards him. I think that might help because uh, without that it's a little bit tricky. Right, so let's go to um, this room, right? The one that was missing a pendulum. There we go. Okay, so what is that? Uh, whoa, whoa. I have no choice. I do have to interact. Is is that a tape in the cuckoo's mouth? Okay, I got it. I got it right. Okay, I think I got the tape. I clicked it. Oh. I guess it's conveniently placed. Are you happy, honey? One, one blessed is the man. The new TV that he brought us. Not in this house, we be invited, nor. Now we can watch TV together in daddy's and mommy's room. Stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. Uh. Okay. Excuse me, I'm trying to get this door open. So this is the TV. This is the new player. This is a pretty badass looking CD player. I see. So how can you describe your journey back through time? The um well the details are blurry, but it's the jump in itself I can most recall. The jump. Yes, the jump through a space between time. A sort of violet blue space dotted with bright white modes. And we weren't alone. I see, so there was some alternate dimension sort of a creature or something that was involved and that created this hell of a don't remember the code maybe she said it to something she saw on TV okay but how does uh... oh I see okay I, I believe it could be these things, because this is the only TV around here. Uh, really gotta press these one at a time, huh? Alright. I may have to go through another one of these to find out what that code is. Here we go. Uh huh, okay, uh, this dimension looks pretty much the same. Looks pretty much the same. Except the TV is here. Okay, um, not very helpful. Um, there is a kind of chest in there. That much is true. Things here are still. Looking warped. Okay. Uh, can I? Nope. I can't open that fridge. Uh, can I go back through? Nope. I'm coming through. Whoa! That clap though. That was some conjuring level clap. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, roll back. Three seven eight four twenty one. I'm just rolling back to see how far it goes. Okay. 
Okay. I guess now things will be warped again. I have to go through this. New developments on the Sacramento disappearing story tonight. As police is expecting. We have Whoa. information and the storms have reached Miami. What? Organizing a move to decide if an evacuation shall be ordered. Oh Stand no. Official instructions. How, how, how long is this going to go for? It is an abomination. A perversion of our heavenly father's grand design. Beware my brothers and sisters. For the devil walks among us this hour. And he bears a medallion maven of brass of Gomorrah. And the land of Saddam. I see. Guess we bargained for too much. There's another door here. No, we can't. Beware, my brothers and sisters, or the devil walks among us. Look, uh, I don't care about no frequent reports in Southeast Asia. These that jump scare is too fast. There's no way it's gonna hit me. Beware, my brothers and sisters. Okay, guess we just gotta keep going through these loops and get scared. Come on, man, I can turn back time. Still have time. Yes, I do, right? Okay. Alright, let's try this. Right, so we gotta key in Oh there we have the numbers here. That's how very helpful. I thought I had to remember it, so I was actually remembering it all the way. Okay, what do I do with this? So how can you describe your uh, and, and that did what exactly? Whoa, whoa! Okay. Oh, great, my head. Um, left, right, center. Gonna go for the far right. Who's that? It can't be too late. It can't be. Yeah, that's true. We gotta keep fighting. If it's family, family, family. Wait, are you serious? Jump scare at the end of these doors. Okay, well, what is it? I can still do this. I still have time. Yes, something big, dark, and evil. Evil? How could you tell? It, it, it sent us visions, promises of wealth and power, of the immense potential of this technology. Ah, well, he certainly isn't wrong there, is he? No, no. I could tell it was evil. It knew very personal things about me, things we'd never tell anyone. See. Okay, now I could finally open this door. This brings me back into... Mm. Not very helpful. Is it this door can't open? There's another door here for some reason. That was a decent jump scare. I couldn't see the whole thing though. Okay. Time is crumbling around me. Okay. Have to go down, I guess. The song. That's it. That's the song. I was supposed to remember. I was 
It was supposed to be over. Can I open this door now? I cannot. I cannot. I guess... Um... Oh, there's a door here. Okay, wow. Was, was that always here? No, it was not. This is new. No, it... It couldn't be. Okay, so what is this? Uh, I can't move. Late. It is too late. You have fulfilled your father's admirable. Drunk on your own denial. Tearing the way onto your world open with every step. You could have stopped it in hopes. But now, you are too late. Cling to the false hope I have given you. Return and delay the inevitable. That is not. Um, okay, I guess that's the game. Not bad, that's decent. That's atmospheric horror at its best, I guess. I like how the uh, game continues to allow me to just loop itself. The credits playing. Right, that's nice, that's sweet. So, um, yeah, I guess that's the game. I, I, at least I think it is, with the credits playing and all. Um, so... Yeah. Is Art Digital, that's the name of the uh, developer company, I guess. It's the one I didn't get at the beginning. Reminiscence, alright, I guess that's the game. Alright guys, that's, that was pretty cool, interesting. There were a few jump scares, it, it was okay, uh, not too impressive. I guess a lot of jump scares need to be within the field of view, and a lot of them were done towards the corners of my eye, so I couldn't catch a lot of them. The Decent jump scares are the one that really come uh, into view when you, you know you can't move your character or you're stuck in like an alley and you see it towards the end. I think those are really the jump scares that get you because you know you have that feeling of helplessness so you can, like you have to see what's happening. But as for the ones that happens in the corner of your eye, if you're not looking in the right direction and it gets wasted, it kind of takes the immersion out. Uh, and also, of course, uh, it'll be nice if the character could you know like pan into view of the jump scare. That'll be really creepy uh, and, you know, maybe even have like a heartbeat or something to add to it. Uh, but yeah, that's that was pretty cool reminiscence. So uh, free on Steam, you guys should check it out. Uh, there's probably a lot of other versions and loops that I missed. Uh, I'm, I don't know if it has alternate endings, but it looks like a game that totally would, looking at the number of choices that could be made, especially the three doors. I think uh, me picking the far right door could have come out with one specific ending. Because all the times in between, I was doing things in a certain sequence, but there was no, there was no real choice. Uh, and also, when it comes to keying in the passcode, I'm not sure if any other code would have worked as well. There is a possibility. Usually, with these kinds of, uh, you know, uh, like these atmospheric games, they really toy with your mind in terms of giving you uh, choices and uh, you know little little things that that make a difference because they can't really show you. A big fireworks display of graphics or anything regardless the graphics itself is pretty decent it's okay it's not the most impressive thing but it is atmospheric in a way and uh, seems pretty cool uh, the creature that haunts you is not really looking that scary but nonetheless jump scares that's the way they go all right see you guys